So about a year ago, I decided that I was going to jump feet first into the Warhammer 40k universe. I'd heard of Warhammer in the past, but I never really gave it too much of a thought. I'd seen some of the books at the bookstores or had seen games come out here and there or just people talk about it in general on the internet. Really a lot of it, honestly, was, was memes. I, I saw a lot of 40k memes. I, I follow a lot of nerdy fan pages on Twitter, now X, Reddit, uh, it, 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 anywhere else that you could you could find memes on the internet. And it was around that same time that there was all the drama that was going on with Henry Cavill and The Witcher, him departing from The Witcher to go play Superman again, then he's not playing Superman, and then he announces a deal with Amazon that he's going to produce, direct, and star, or whatever, and star uh, in Warhammer content. And actually, just recently, the news came out from Games Workshop that they are moving full force into shows, movies, everything else. They are super excited about it. And honestly, as a new Warhammer fan, I'm excited about it too. And even before I knew what Warhammer truly was and digging deep into the lore, the tabletop, uh, and the expanded universe, really, um, I was excited for the show because I'm a Henry Cavill fan and I wanted to know more about this universe. I just wanted to know more and I was curious about the tabletop. The purpose of me making this video is if you find yourself in a similar place, if you're like me a year ago and you really didn't know how to delve deep into Warhammer. And I don't just mean one aspect of it. I wanted to know everything and I wanted to do everything that was involved with Warhammer that eventually built up to about two weeks ago with my own army fighting my first ever battle on the tabletop. So again, if you're like me just a year ago, you didn't know where to start and where to begin, I'm gonna walk you through my beginner's journey. This is a beginner's guide for beginners, really. So if you're a beginner like me and I'm still a super big novice into all of this stuff, then come on this little trip with me. We'll go through where I started, where I learned more about the Warhammer world, how I got into the tabletop uh, and the expanded universe as well. And you'll be happy to know that you're already on the right trail. If you somehow found this video in the YouTube algorithm, first off, I greatly appreciate you viewing. And if you enjoy this video and you wanna see more Warhammer content, I know we don't do a whole lot of Warhammer content on the site, but that's something that I would like to change. But if that's something that you want to see and you want to kind of go through this journey together, then subscribe to the channel, leave a like and leave a comment down below. So that way I know that you guys are interested in more Warhammer stuff in the future. But YouTube is obviously going to be one of the best starts or the best place to start for your introduction into Warhammer. If there are two videos that I could absolutely recommend, it's every single Warhammer 40K faction explained by Bricky. I've watched a lot of his videos, especially over Warhammer. He's And his videos are super hilarious. He's a funny dude and they're entertaining. They're super long videos. They're almost an hour a piece, but he gives great, almost dumbed down introductions of all the factions of Warhammer. And it gives you a really good picture of this universe that you are jumping into. All right, so we're gonna put a pin in the YouTube part of our journey. We'll come back to YouTube eventually, so don't worry, we'll get to that in due time. Now, there's a high chance that you, the person watching this video, love video games. I also love video games. And I think that pretty much anyone that plays 40K also loves video games. If you're a nerd, you usually like playing video games. And if you have a few extra bucks to spare and you're not ready to jump into the tabletop just yet, then there are a plethora of Warhammer licensed video games for you to play. And some of these, they don't cost too much. You can find some as low as maybe five, six, ten dollars. Some do press up a little bit more higher on the spectrum in that 50 to $60 range. The first one that I ever played, because it came out around the time that I was really starting to be interested in Warhammer, was Bolt Gun. Bolt Gun is a Doom style boomer shooter in the Warhammer universe. Uh, it's it's just a lot of mindless fun and it's a good introduction uh, to the world. It, it was an absolute blast. It was one of my favorite games of 2023. Another game that I absolutely loved 
and is gonna have a sequel coming out this September is Space Marine. This is an excellent introduction in my opinion. You get to play as a Space Marine. It's a third person action game. It feels a lot like Gears of War, honestly, in my opinion. That's kind of the vibe that I got from it, but just a super awesome, super fun game that again, is it gonna cost you too much money? It's not gonna break the bank. It's not like you're shelling out hundreds of dollars for the figures just yet. And the great thing about some of the Warhammer games is that there are Warhammer games that fit a multitude of different genres. Games like Dawn of War 2 and Battle Sector, two games that I have that I play, are more of like RTS type games. Battle Sector's a lot of fun. That one feels a lot more like, uh, uh, if you've ever played Halo Wars, that's kind of like that, that type of vibe that I get, or I guess like Age of Empires as well. It's more along those lines. I'm also a big Total War guy. It's one of my favorite franchises out there. I haven't played the Warhammer Total Wars. I know those don't deal with like the 40K aspect of the Warhammer universe. I, I really haven't delved beyond the 40K part of Warhammer and the Horus Heresy, which again, these, these big words that I'm throwing out there, don't think about it too much. Um, again, go, go watch, go watch the Bricky videos. And if you're confused, then you can come back here and then you'll, you'll kind of have a better, better understanding. And if you have Game Pass, go out, download and play Dark Tide. It's super fun. I solo queue all the time and I get wrecked on the higher difficulties. But again, it's a great introduction into the world. And now we get to the point where I am ready to play the tabletop. I'm watching videos on how to play tabletop. Vanguard Tactics is the one that I watched to learn the rules. And before I had even had a figure in, or a miniature in my the palm of my hands, I was obsessing over the Vanguard Tactics videos, especially because the 10th edition was coming out. I'd kind of take a little bit of a break from Warhammer, not in the sense of like wanting to, not wanting to pursue it anymore, but just not going out there, not buying the figurines or like not shopping for them or anything, just kind of letting everything come in at my own pace. But 10th edition was coming up and I wanted to get my hands on some figures. And this was the perfect time to do so. There's a problem that you're gonna run into with Warhammer. It's expensive. The Leviathan box itself, which kicked off the 10th edition for Warhammer, cost around $250 at launch. You can find it a little bit cheaper on sale right now, but still $250, even if you had a friend going halvesies and one of you wanted the Space Marines and one of you wanted the Tyranid fig miniatures, that's still a over a hundred bucks for both of you to buy this thing. And there's also the, the limited edition rules book that I guess would have to do like an every other weekend type of type of deal at a parent's house. But I mean, just go to Games Workshop and you'll kind of be intimidated at the price tag for some of these. A Combat Patrol, $160. The Codex by itself is $60. You have a one figurine, a Librarian in Terminator armor is $38. Heavy Intercessor Squad, $65. Captain with a Master Crafted Heavy Bolt Rifle, $40. So you can see why it's hard for the average person to get into Warhammer because it costs so much money to get into. Unless you do a little bit of a sneaky sneaky. Now, let me just come right out and say this. I am not condoning piracy in any shape, form, or fashion. I am simply telling you all that there are alternatives to fighting. So let me introduce you all to the exact same model 3D printer, resin 3D printer that I currently have out in my garage. There are better versions of this that have come out as you can clearly see uh, down here. Better build plates, uh, auto leveling um, in this Mars 4, which oh, I, I need auto leveling in my life, definitely. But as you can see, as of right now, this exact printer, the exact same printer that I have, mind you, is going for 
dollars for fifty dollars less than the leviathan box you can have a 3d printer and now i'm not going to tell you where you can find the stl files that's something that i had to find on my own i had to figure out where to find those files but i promise you if you dig deep enough you will be able to find it and when you do it's going to change your life because a lot of the stuff comes free now yes i have bought some in the past to help flesh out some of my armies and games workshop has really cracked down on the um the uploading of these stl files and there's a lot of files that i've printed that i've gone back and thankfully i download i at least downloaded them i haven't printed them but i have i've downloaded them and have them saved to a jump drive because they are no longer on the website that i downloaded them on and it's it's a public website where free stuff abounds you just need to know the language and the lingo to just kind of skip around and figure out where to find it all and i've done 3d printing in the past you can probably see it behind me i have an ender ender 3 filament printer that has not been running in a while it it just stopped working uh a while back and i've, I've just never got it fixed so it's just kind of a just kind of like a big paperweight behind me right now and i did have an old resin printer but i wanted to go with kind of like a newer one bit of an upgrade um and i got this exact one here and it's absolutely changed my life and again i i knew what i was doing when it came to 3d printers i used this printer behind me and my other older resin printer uh i, I can't remember which one that was if i've forgotten it but i used those for my dungeons and dragons figures and terrain and and, and everything else and th and those printers for what i used them for worked awesome and it's the same thing with this printer right here with the warhammer miniatures they have come out absolutely stunning they look awesome the detail it's all there they just they look so beautiful and awesome i've said this in the past if games workshop would put the stl files out there for purchase i'd go straight to them and and purchase it like i i honestly would it's just way too expensive it is more cost effective for me to buy a $200 resin printer and then buy a $20 bottle of resin every month and a half, really? The resin lasts a long time, even with all the failures that I've had. I've printed two 1,000 point armies with, with uh, units that I haven't even used. And all the failures that I've had, I just recently got in the mail my fourth bottle of resin. And so I, I found my sources to find the STL files. I got my printer in, ran a couple of test prints, downloaded everything, and started printing like a madman. The next big challenge for me was painting. I'm not really artistic. And there's miniatures that I'm proud of. I think they look good. Some I think could probably be better. I'm not too happy with a couple Tyranids that I've painted. I'm happy, I'm really happy with how some of my uh, Space Marines came out with. I chose Ultramarines just because I was trying to remake the Leviathan box. I know, pretty pretty basic. It's like the it's like the pumpkin spice of Warhammer 40k going with the Ultramarines as one of your first armies, but, but give, give me a break here, people. All throughout this past summer and into the fall, and as we got closer to the holidays, that's what I spent a lot of my free time doing. If I wasn't doing something with Vendetta, not hanging out with my family, um, or doing something for my regular day job, uh, I was painting figurines, or I was printing uh, the miniatures. And I, and, and I will fully admit, I have bought a couple of Games Workshop published uh, miniature sets, especially for the Chaos Marines. That's one of the next factions that I'm working on. There was just some miniatures that I couldn't find uh, through my connections to STL files. And so, and I just, I really wanted to do Chaos Marines. I think they're so super cool. They're, they're kind of the main baddies uh, in, in Bolt Gun that I talked about earlier. And so I just really wanted to see them on the tabletop. And so I was okay with doing that because I got, I got some Christmas money. So I was like, hey, that's just what I'll spend it on. And it just cuts out, you know, it's a little bit more convenient instead of having to print it all and to do all the cleanup outside. It's 
just get a little bit of glue and slap it together and paint it and you're good to go. I have seen people, they use some of the shades to like do like a quick paint job. Uh, one showed up on my For You page on TikTok the other day uh, and I went down kind of the rabbit hole a little bit and watched this guy uh, paint and he just he just uses the shades and they kind of just kind of sticks and colors everything and that's how he you quickly like how this this person quickly like mass produces painted Warhammer figurines. So maybe I'll try that, especially for something he did his with uh, a couple of guardsmen. So that might be an option to just look into and obviously we can go back to the YouTube part and look up tutorials on how to paint and how to play uh, the uh, the tabletop. And speaking of learning how to play the game, if you just want to see how the game is played, an excellent excellent series is from a YouTube channel called Play on Tabletop. They do 40k in 40 minutes. They are awesome. Bricky who we talked about earlier, he's appeared on their channel a couple times. They get to play, you get to see these awesome painted animated looking armies facing off against each other um it might be a little bit more quick pace for someone uh, that's never played or has knows nothing about warhammer but nonetheless it's just super fun and i highly recommend going to watch and then finally just after the new year i finally got to play my first tabletop me as the ultramarines my buddy as the tyranids i came out on top wasn't like a uh, wasn't a blowout win by any means and we both honestly really didn't care it, this was just more of a feel out and trying to figure out how to play the game and again man we just we had so much fun such a blast it's been such an awesome journey to get introduced into this world i hope this video made sense to all of you again this is just me kind of explaining my journey through it all how i got in to Warhammer, how I went from no knowledge whatsoever to being able to play on the tabletop and to understand uh, a lot of the inside jokes, jokes and memes that I see on Twitter from, from time to time. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video drops. This is Jackson Law from Vendetta Sports Media signing off and I will see you guys next time.